a lot of times some of the most obvious truths are the most difficult to see because they're right in front of your face and people are trying to look for something so deep and complicated when really it is all just very simple. Here's the thing. The thing is this. There is no us and them. There's only us. There's so much of this whole us versus them dynamic. And in fact, people use this dynamic to give their own group power, right? Because it emotionally mobilizes the group to have this enemy. That's why in the book 1984, the government always had this fake enemy. There was never any enemy, but they always acted like they were constantly at war. Why? So they could get the people to follow. That's one of the ways leaders come into power. They choose an enemy, they choose a them, and they say, follow me, fight the enemy. And this has led to the greatest atrocities throughout history. The obvious truth is this. There is no us and them. There is only us. We are all people. There are no special chosen people. If you exist, then you have been chosen to be in this reality at this moment, at this time, in this place, with these people, in these situations which you help choose. And it makes you feel comfortable, makes you feel comforted when there's an us, right? Because then you can feel like, oh yeah, you know, we are right. And the proof is that there's more than one of us. It's like we're a group. That proves we're right. That doesn't prove you're right. All it's proven is that you have separated yourself mentally because physically, scientifically, even spiritually, there is no separation. And you can see this in just so many, just so many aspects, okay? I mean, basically, it comes to a religious cultish aspect. You see this in religion. You see this in politics, nationalism ideology you know it's like oh you don't believe in this specific one thing so you are the enemy or oh you know we like this person we follow him you don't follow him you don't like him then we are different no you you guys are all the same I mean People may be having different methods of how to get to the same place, but they still want to go to the same place. What is the same place? Is that people are aiming for something better, but not everyone may actually know what is better. Or may not know who knows what is better. The truth itself is the truth. And it's not something that can be exactly clearly defined all the time. Certain instances, certain situations, you know, the quote unquote truth may be very simple. In other situations, it may be very complex and too big for our simple human minds to completely grasp. Our minds have the potential to do great things, 
But yeah, we all have to like learn how to use our minds. And <clears throat> we're not like computers, right? So we don't remember things and information perfectly. We're not, we're emotional, you know, not just logical. Of course, emotion also comes with a kind of logic. That's why you have the IQ and the EQ. You know, it's the obvious truth that there is only one human race. You take any person and you put them in, you know, certain similar situation, they're, you know, the way they grow up and, you know, the way they become an adult is going to be similar. If you are on this whole us and them thing, you're, that's, you know, that's fine, but you're not about the love then. If you're only about the love of a small group of people and not everyone, is that really love or is that just selfishness? They say psychopaths, you know, do nice things, care about their friends. But how deep does that love go or is it more based on a self-interest now if it's more based on self-interest the love is not that deep which means the connection is not so authentic how are we going to save the earth how are we going to save the world the human world it must come from love Everyone throws this word around. What is love? Love is pure intention, compassion, authenticity, consideration, gratitude, appreciation, giving. 